Imagine hundreds if not thousands of hours of research from experts from a range of all sorts of fields and tens of millions of dollars to be wasted all due to a man and a corned beef sandwich. Hey, I'm Alex Lam and in this episode of Stories of the World, we'll be talking about the astronaut John Young who smuggled a sandwich into space. Now I'm sure you guys have smuggled food before, maybe a drink and snacks into the cinema or some gummy bears to a school assembly. So what's the big deal with an astronaut smuggling a sandwich into space? Well, apart from the obvious crumbs getting into machinery, it was a very intense time on the world stage. So to better understand the gravity of the situation, let's talk about what was happening in the 1960s. We're about 25 years into the Cold War. Tensions were high between the US and Soviet Russia. The the US was trying to stop the expansion of Soviet Russia, which resulted in a very deadly arms race. The situation got even more complicated in 1957 when Soviet Russia launched the world's first satellite, announcing to the world their advancement into space, which surprised the hell out of the Americans. And within a year, USA launched their own satellite, officially starting the space race. That same year, President Dwight Eisenhower signed a public order creating NASA. Now fast forward to 1965. The Americans were still considered behind on the space race. Any minor mistake could give the Soviets an even bigger lead. Walk in John Young and his sandwich. Just before launching on Gemini 3 on March 23rd, 1965, Young slipped the sandwich into his pocket. Upon taking the sandwich out during the mission, it sparked a brief conversation between Young and Grissom. The chat lasted about a minute and according to Gemini 3 transcript, it went something like this. What is it? Corned beef sandwich. Where did that come from? I brought it with me. Let's see how it tastes. Smells, doesn't it? Grissom takes a sandwich, tastes the sandwich, but quickly announced he would stick it back into his pocket because it was starting to break up. A thought, not a very good one. Pretty good though, if it would just hold together. End of transcript. Now this situation wasn't a big deal until Grissom mentioned the incident during an interview for Life magazine. I quote, I took a bite, but crumbs of rye bread started floating all around the cabin. End quote. The incident resulted in a review by the US House of Representatives Committee on Appropriations, in which one member of Congress called it a $30 million sandwich, and politicians cited safety concerns about crumbs interfering with spacecraft operations. Several senior NASA officials, including then Administrator James Webb, testified at the proceedings. Young talks about the review in his 2012 memoir, Forever Young. I quote, Today, the theater that took place inside the meeting room that day strikes me as totally comic, but I can assure you that those testifying for NASA at the time were not smiling. End quote. At this point, I know what you're all wondering. Was the corned beef sandwich any good? The sandwich came from a deli in Cocoa Beach, Florida, called Wolfie's Restaurant and Sandwich Shop at the Ramada Inn. Sadly, the chain closed in 2002, so can we get our hands on one? No, we cannot. Interestingly, Young wasn't even the one that bought the sandwich. It was gifted to Young by another astronaut called Wally Shearer. Sadly, the sandwich was missing some ingredients. I quote from Young, it didn't even have mustard on it and no pickle, end quote. But even though it was missing ingredients, it was definitely more delicious than food available to astronauts back then. Early space flight food was bland and had astronauts sucking nutrition out of a pouch. So maybe that was one of the reasons as to why he decided to smuggle the sandwich. He just wanted to eat something normal. But let's talk about how easy it seemed for Young to smuggle the sandwich into space. You would think that would double, triple, and maybe even quadruple check everything. Yet, yeah, but somehow NASA just didn't see a, a sandwich bulge come out of his uniform. <laughs> But look, in NASA's defense, you wouldn't think that anybody would be stupid enough to jeopardize a space mission by smuggling a sandwich. I mean, you know, Young is a full grown man. There's no way a man capable of becoming an astronaut would do something so reckless. Then again, guys can be pretty stupid. You know, I had a friend, you know, even though the blender was turned off and unplugged, he put his penis in the blender and he thought he was hilarious. So people will just be doing stupid things all the time. But going back to John Young, he is no longer with us. He passed away on the 5th of January 2018 at the age of 87. He lived an amazing life. So if you want to learn more about John Young, he has a memoir called Forever Young uh, that you could pick up and read. But before we end this, let me know in the comments section below, what food would you smuggle into space and how? 
If it's possible, I would love to smuggle a bucket of KFC. Yeah, I eat that stuff every week. I don't think I can go to space without eating it. So that's the story of John Young and the corned beef sandwich. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. I'm Alex Lam, and this is Stories of the World. Corned beef sandwich, man, just, just like straight in there like that. <laughs>